director at S, the CIA and America's Covert Wars in Afghanistan and Pakistan, is a nonfiction publication penned by American author and journalist Steve Call, hitting the shelves in 2018. In this work, Call delves into the intricate relationship between Pakistan and the United States post-September 11 attacks, exposing how this alliance detrimentally impacted America's anti-Taliban endeavors in Afghanistan. Acting as a sequel to Call's Pulitzer Prize-winning Ghost Wars from 2004, which chronicled Afghanistan's history from the Soviet invasion of 1979 until September 10, 2001, Directorate S sheds light on the covert machinations of a Pakistani intelligence unit known as Directorate S, dedicated to aiding the Taliban. Call's elucidation of Directorate S garnered him the National Book Critics Circle Award for nonfiction. Drawing from interviews with key figures spanning statesmen, intelligence operatives, and military personnel from all sides of the conflict, Call endeavors to diagnose the underlying issues fueling the protracted war in Afghanistan, which has persisted for over 17 years. Despite the sacrifice of 2,400 soldiers and expenditure exceeding $1 trillion, America has failed to fulfill its pledge to uplift the Afghan populace, as articulated by President George W. Bush during the inception of Operation Enduring Freedom in late 2001. Two prominent factors exacerbating the enduring conflict are underscored by Call. Firstly, he points to America's tumultuous alliance with Hamid Karzai, who was appointed to lead Afghanistan following the ousting of the Taliban regime in late 2001. While initially hailed as a potential liberator akin to Nelson Mandela, Karzai's presidency was marred by allegations of corruption, nepotism, fraud, and purported connections to the Afghan heroin trade. Secondly, Call asserts America's erroneous assumption of Pakistan's commitment as a trustworthy ally in combating the Taliban. Although direct military intervention from Pakistan wasn't necessary, the United States anticipated Pakistan's cooperation in allowing unhindered passage of supply shipments through its territory and in deterring Taliban forces from seeking refuge within its borders. However, Pakistan's possession of a nuclear arsenal severely limited America's leverage in persuading Pakistan to comply. Furthermore, combating the Taliban didn't consistently align with Pakistan's interests. For instance, if the Taliban's adversaries in Afghanistan, the Northern Alliance, were to seize power, they might target the Pashtuns, an ethnic group allied with Pakistan. Hence, while the U.S. provided substantial financial assistance to Pakistan for fighting the Taliban, Pakistan actively undermined these efforts. Call describes this as the most significant strategic failure of the American campaign. While it may have been unrealistic to expect unwavering support from Pakistan, Call suggests that catastrophe could have been avoided if the U.S. military hadn't suffered critical tactical setbacks early in the conflict. Failures in intelligence and insufficient troop deployments during battles in Tora Bora and the Shai Khat Valley facilitated the escape of key al-Qaeda leaders, including Osama bin Laden, into Pakistan. Besides the obvious consequence of letting the enemy evade capture, this led to a series of events that undermined American objectives in Afghanistan for years to come. Pervez Musharraf, then president of Pakistan, argued that America's inability to contain the terrorist threat in Afghanistan justified significant military aid to Pakistan to handle the influx of Islamic militant. Initially, the arrangement appeared promising as Pakistan delivered notable arrests of significant al-Qaeda figures, such as Abu Zubaydah and Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, both subsequently detained at Guantanamo Bay detention camp. However, Call contends that these early captures only reinforced the U.S.'s reliance and financial support on Pakistan, inadvertently providing cover for Pakistan's clandestine aid to the Taliban. Furthermore, as the U.S. shifted focus to the Iraq War, its payments to Pakistan became routine, lacking substantial oversight on how those funds were utilized. Meanwhile, Karzai began questioning American intentions in Afghanistan, concocting elaborate paranoid conspiracy theories that portrayed the U.S. as an occupying force scheming against China or Russia. However, according to Call, attributing such elaborate designs to America would be overstating its strategic vision. In truth, Call argues that America lacked a coherent strategy for Afghanistan, leading to a prolonged holding pattern that persisted throughout much of President Barack Obama's tenure. Despite Obama's announcement in 2014 
of intentions to wind down combat operations in Afghanistan, thousands of troops remained in the country upon his departure from office. While hailed as a remarkably insightful work, Directorate S by the New York Times, Call's book is deemed to face eventual irrelevance due to the ongoing nature of the conflict in Afghanistan. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.